very excited to show you our new Forward Onyx deglutition and measuring kit. We have three types of kits available at Forward Onyx. This is the single user deglutition and measuring kit. This is a single user deglutition and measuring kit plus with an op locker device. And we have the single user deglutition and measuring kit plus plus with an op locker device and a manometer. Let's open this kit and show you how to use it and what comes with it. When you open your kit, you will have an op locker vacuum activator. We suggest you take it apart and you rinse it really well, which we already have done in our case. You have a connector for your manometer. You have a saliva trap and you have your deglutition tube and your pressure measuring tube with an extra syringe. It comes with your manometer, with two lip locker devices, and a bag for you to keep your equipment. When you open your box, you will find your instruction booklet, Forward Onyx instruction booklet. If you have any problems, you can always refer to the instructions. Your manometer device in its case, Once we turn on our manometer, we calibrate it and re-zero it to equalize with your ambient pressure. Now we are going to take our connector and put it on the left side of the manometer. Okay, so we have our connector in our saliva trap to our manometer. So it fits quite tight. So we have our trap, our connector on the left side of the manometer. Take our measuring tube. We are going to connect it to our saliva trap. Always everything very tight. So now we have our manometer zeroed and we have our tip ready for measuring. We can measure the donor space or the Frankel space. We are going to do the donder space. So I'm going to pull it out from the connector and we're going to remove our funnel from our up locker. And we are going to place it very tightly into our up locker. Now we are ready to start our measurement. I'm going to put it on, swallowing two or three times. Remember, swallow should be around 50 to 100 millibars of negative pressure. And then we let go so that we can stabilize our position anywhere under 20 millibars of pressure. Ideally, anywhere from 10 to 15 is great. Our forward onic manometer has five degrees, five millibars of standard deviation. So anything under 20 will be between 10 and 15 millibars of negative pressure. We are going to spot check our pressure for three, four, five minutes every day so that when we practice, either with our lip locker or our up locker, we are in that range of negative pressure. That range of negative pressure is the best way to rest your tongue, your soft palate, and to keep an airway open so that we can recover and regenerate our breathing during our sleep and during the day or after we do any type of sport or athletic activity. Now we are going to show you how to use your up locker without the manometer. When you put it on, you generate negative suction, the bubble goes in and you can wear this 10, 15, 20, 30 minutes every night before you go to sleep to make sure your brain understands what it is to rest with that light negative suction. You can use the deglutition kit, which is the two that has the light blue ending, and you can put the 
funnel inside this tube. And I always like to measure the donder space. So you use the tube into the up locker. And when you have the correct pressure, you can have this in your hand and you can monitor if the pressure is right or not. This is a good way to not have to have your finger on the device. You can have it away on your thumb and have your child generate the right suction. And then when you feel it, that um, the belly is going in, then the kid can watch their cartoon or do something fun for maybe five, 10 minutes. And you can monitor that they can hold that negative suction. If the child is very young, you can cut the up locker shield to fit the child. Because sometimes if their mouth is very small, it may be a little long for them. So you can just cut it to the size of each one of your children or maybe young adults might need to cut it a little bit. So this is the deglutition kit. When you want to practice a little bit of the deglutition, and I mean by deglutition, we mean swallowing, you can connect a syringe in the end and we are going to use a little bit of water or juice or anything that's uh, fun for the person that's practicing the correct swallow and we are going to put our syringe connected here the first thing we do mostly with children sometimes children will swallow with a lot of facial um, gesticulation they use their facial muscles to swallow like this and that's an incorrect swallow. So having a deglutition kit helps them learn the correct swallow that does not use any muscles in the face. You swallow and you should only see movement in her throat. So this is what we call the invisible swallow. Before and after your measuring, you need to wash everything thoroughly. So we recommend your lip locker before use and after use, take a little bit of soap and you wash it well. Your up locker, pull it apart, every piece, Be very careful with the small pieces, so you always want to make sure that your sink is uh, protected. And again, a little bit of soap, and you wash it very, very well. Do not put it in the dishwasher, but you wash it very well, and you leave it out to dry. Your syringe, same thing. You clean it very well. You rinse it and you put it away to have it ready when you're going to use it. Your manometer turned off and you are going to remove the saliva trap. And the connector can stay on if you want to because it's never been in contact with any saliva or it's not in danger of being cross-contaminated. So you clean your manometer very well, and you're gonna store it in a dry place. You're gonna clean your tubes and your saliva trap. Saliva trap is individual use per patient, and you also wanna wash it and rinse it well if you are going to use it again for the same patient. Your tubing, also, you can put a little bit of soap if you want here, and you will rinse it out under the water. And the water comes out very well. And same thing with your deglutition tube. Make sure the water passes through. It's just 
saliva or some whatever liquid you've used. So you wanna make sure that it's rinsed well. And the key is always to dry everything perfectly well. The way to dry your tube is we use air that you can buy to clean electronics. And we are going to put it in here and we're gonna blow very thoroughly until your tube is very well dry. And you'll have a towel, clean it well, and make sure that it's perfectly dry. You can do this a couple times and make sure the air comes out to here to have it nice and dry. Set it aside and same thing with your deglutition tube. Dry. You don't want any mold to develop inside your tube. So these can be used every time you're gonna practice. Fordonics provides these bags that are mesh, so you can keep all your stuff inside this mesh bag. After you've dried it thoroughly, you can put it inside. Your trap, your lip locker, which you might wanna keep closer to your bed if you're gonna use it at night. And every part of your up locker, nice and dry. your mesh bag and you have your equipment in a dry clean place in your house so whenever you're ready you can use it again and have all your parts ready to go single use but you can reuse it for your measurement every day so this was our unboxing for our deglutition and pressure measuring kit by forwardonics now you know how to use it and you have the single user, single user plus with a knob locker and single user plus plus with a knob locker and a manometer to measure your performance so you can improve faster and you can have meaningful practice. I hope you enjoyed this video and you will have a lot of healthy breathing, good sleeping and fantastic athletic recovery in your future life with Forward Dynamics. Thank you.